Hello again. I'm now up here at, at the wilderness at Camp Laverne. We've made our sling, and I'm gonna show you how to hold it and how to throw it. Okay, as you remember, we have a slip knot on one end, the other end is straight, or you can tie a little knot on there to pinch together, as you'll see in a minute. So what I like to do is I like to put the slip knot on my uh, middle finger. Some people like to put it on their index finger, some on the ring finger. Middle finger seems to work best for me. So cinch that up, and then next, between your thumb and your index finger, you're gonna grasp the other end of the sling. And I've tied a little, little knot on there to pinch. And you wanna pinch that together with your other uh, end that's attached to your finger. And it's mainly attached to your finger so the sling doesn't go flying off. So that's how you're holding it. And your rock or projectile is gonna fit in your sling. And then you'll throw it. Okay, we've learned how to hold the sling. Now we're gonna uh, learn the throwing motion. And there, I've seen a lot of different kinds of throwing motion, but the one that I like best, I learned from an amazing, wonderful man named Roland Ortmeyer. Some of you may know that name if you're from Laverne. He was a longtime football coach there, instructor, uh, leader of float trips up in Montana and Idaho, and that's where he taught me uh, this throwing technique and he taught a throwing class there. So just goes to show. Okay I'm just gonna now demonstrate a couple times. Um, I should call him Ort. Everyone called him Ort. So the throw that Ort taught me. Let me do a couple of these and then we'll break it down and, and show you how to throw it. Okay now I'm gonna break down the throwing motion for you. It gets a little confusing but I'll do it step by step and then we'll try to put it all together. And I break it down in steps, but it's actually one real fluid motion once you get it. First thing, you wanna make sure you're standing sideways to your target. I'm sorry, I can't show the target, but got a tree up that way. So stand sideways from your target. You already know how to grip and hold the, the sling. Extend your non-throwing arm straight out in front of you and your other hand down a little bit, your throwing hand down a little bit. When you release the pouch, you just bring your hand down. Release the pouch, just let your hand drop a little bit. Release the pouch, hand drops. From there, after that, after that hits the bottom, after your hand hits the bottom, you're gonna circle your hand behind your back. You're gonna circle your hand behind the back, elbow high. One more time. Circle around behind your back, elbow high, and it's like you're scratching your back. This is the position you want to end up in. Okay, and then from there, you'll have the actual throwing motion. Once you hit this position here, you're going to throw. You're going to extend out like you normally do a normal overhand throw. Swing, throw. Once you hit this position back here, it's going to be the throwing motion. And notice I'm doing this with no projectile in there. You want to practice without having anything in there. Sometimes you might want to break it down and just stop right here, no projectile. Elbow up, hand behind your back, and throw. Nice, smooth action. Once you can do that, once it doesn't look like this, then if it looks like that, then let's go ahead and put a projectile in. Let's put a rock in. So I've got my rock in the pouch. Hold it out in front. I'm gonna let it drop down, swing behind my back, and throw. Oh, just missed. Practice the motion once it feels good, then you go ahead and try to throw. Never, never throw it with someone around you. No one, no one should be in front of you. No one should be to the side of you, probably within, oh, at least 10, 15 feet and no one directly behind you. They can be behind the side, but not directly behind you. Every once in a while, it comes out in the back. Now that you're ready to throw, what are you gonna use for a projectile? Now, if you're out in the wilderness and wide open space, of course, you're gonna use the traditional rocks. But what size rocks? I've got different sizes here. 
These you can use, I don't think you can see too well. They're kind of small, but they'll work, but you don't get quite the feel for them. Uh, you can use these larger size rocks. They'll work too, but you gotta be careful because they're pretty heavy and they may tear your pouch here. So if you do use larger ones, don't try to throw as hard. And there was all, often a lot of fun is if you can find some of these flat ones. Because if you throw these flat ones nice and hard, they tend to make a whing sound through the air, and that's a lot of fun. Okay, so most of you aren't gonna be able to get out in the wilderness, wide open space like that. So I try to think, what can you do? What can you do to throw maybe in a big backyard or a park that's, that's safe? You obviously can't use rocks and hurt people and break windows. So I thought of hacky sacks. If you got some hacky sacks, those are gonna, those will work fine. They're round, got a little weight to them. But then another thing I thought of was these training golf balls, these little wiffle balls. And although they're light, they're just the right size. They're about the same size as the perfect rock I found here, and a nice rock. Um, but they're, they're very light, so they don't go so far, they don't go so true, and it's a hard, hard to get the feel for it. But what I've done to modify these is I've taken a plastic bag and stuffed it in the little golf ball. Oh, you say it can't be done? Oh, it can be done. You just have to have some patience and it takes some time. Unless you can fast forward like my video, Ta-da! See, it only took a few seconds. So let's now try throwing our modified projectiles. No rocks here. I'm in my backyard. Unfortunately, it's pretty big. I even got a tree as a target. I'm gonna start with just the, the plain wiffle ball with no plastic inside it. Let's see how that goes. Plain wiffle ball. Ooh, went pretty good. Got to the second tier. Not quite to the tree. One more plain wiffle ball. Oh, second tier again. Okay, now we're gonna go with the modified wiffle ball with the plastic inside it. Oh, it fell out. That happens, gotta keep more centrifugal force on it. Come on, Mr. Bob, you can do this. Ooh, went hard and fast, almost got there. Okay, now let's try the hacky sacks. This ought to be fun. Oh, just missed. Did you see that? It curved away. Oh, just in front of it. Come on. Are you rooting for me? <laughs> oh, just bounced in front. One last one. Oh, just missed. But boy, that was a lot of fun and a good learning experience. I hope you get out soon and practice, practice, practice. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, video series. I also hope to see you up at camp soon, maybe even on the overnight hike, and you can bring up your sling and we can throw together. Happy virtual camping and happy throwing.